My name is Tom Winterton and I'm a Deep Space Network Mission Operations Engineer here at Goonhilly Earth Station. So the internal upgrade at Goonhilly 6 required uh, a change of approximately 10,000 nuts and bolts and a lot of removing of the old equipment when the uh, antenna was used for telecommunications and replacing it with more modern equipment. So it was taking out large racks of equipment that were then replaced with a single unit, uh, much, much smaller and more efficient. Changing of the amplifiers as well from C band and KU band to S and X band, as well as repainting the antenna a lot. So the different elements of the internal setup are there's signal processing units, amplifiers, up converters, a feed horn, then the antenna reflector itself, um, the signal processing unit processes the signals that are received from the uh, satellite. So a signal comes down from the satellite into the reflector, is then reflected off a sub-reflector down into the feed horn. This is all to focus the energy and the signal onto a single diode. That diode, is, the electrons are excited inside of it. That signal is then put through a low noise amplifier to amplify the very weak signal that has come potentially all the way from Mars. Um, then that frequency, uh, that signal is at um, a very high frequency, many, many gigahertz. We down convert that to be in a more usable and processor friendly, um, lower, lower frequency. This intermediate frequency uh, then will go into the signal processing unit, which demodulates, then decodes the signal. We then forward that data we've collected onto our customer. Uplinking to the uh, spacecraft is very similar, but in reverse. So we've got the signal processing unit, which we configure and then tell our customer they can connect into, which then they'll send their data uh, off to the spacecraft. So signal processing unit, up converter, amplifier, out of the antenna, radiated, yeah, all the way out to Mars or other locations. So in the mission equipment room itself, when you walk in, you can see uh, all the overhead air conditioning units primarily, um, and then the amplifiers are the main predominant things that are in front of you. Two amplifiers, one uh, primary and one backup in both the S band and X band. Um, there's the waveguide that comes out of those that then go up to the uh, feed horn, which then goes out of the antenna itself. Um, walking around, you'll see the other supporting hardware, such as the uninterruptible power supplies. So the backup power supplies are, if there's a power cut um, or um, for whatever reason, bad weather or accidental um, interruption, they will automatically kick back in uh, to be able to run the antenna for a few hours. Um, usually within that time, the problem has been solved or that's enough time for the on-site generators to kick in and provide us with many, many days worth of power. As you continue round, um, there are the signal processing units that you'll see, as well as some GPS clocks. Those are for keeping time, because keeping time is really important on uh, satcoms. Um, there's a couple other things, switches uh, for rerouting uh, different aspects of the antenna. So if we want to get some uh, power data, for example, just to measure things, we can do that. And we have a space where customers are able to, with a fly box, a big box that's used for transporting sensitive equipment, uh, they can have it posted here and we'll connect it in for them so they can have their special hardware integrated very easily and quickly into our existing hardware on site. The metal structure in the centre of the mission equipment room uh, is the structure which takes the signal both out from the uh, amplifiers and down from the spacecraft as it's amplified and collected by the uh, reflector. Feed horn itself, uh, where the signal goes out of, um, it is just a very precise metal uh, tube with some mirrors that are reflective to radio frequencies. If you were to look at it yourself, 
you'd just see a mildly dull gray sheet, um, but it's highly reflective to radio frequencies. And then that just goes out of the antenna, um, hits the subreflector, then off the large aluminium structure um, where it then goes off to deep space. Predominantly, we'll be operating the antenna remotely just a couple hundred meters away uh, in the Mission Operations Center. It's a, uh, a center where we'll be able to operate, obviously, Gunhilly 6, as well as other uh, antennas that we'll be bringing online in the near future. Uh, we can return to the antenna to operate it, um, but normally, if we were to do that, there's only to do maintenance.